Hello there, welcome to this video, welcome to this channel. My name is Carissa, I'm someone that loves makeup. I love looking at it, talking about it, swatching it, all of the above. And today, I figured I would just do a get ready with me. I just took my settler water to get off my skincare from last night. I don't like to wash my face in the morning because I feel like then it gets like overly dry so I just use my cellar water plus I like the like the products to soak in. Taylor Wynn does the same thing. So I need to do skincare um and I I don't know if the video goes up first but I did do <coughs> a video where I showed you my skincare so I'm just gonna do that really fast. I'll just do it on camera which is these sped up but I figured I'd actually talk during this get ready with me because I have some new stuff I want to test out. So let's do this. I have my little Purity One earbuds in. I figured out how to wear them so they don't look as clunky. And when I'm just listening to my Spotify playlist. Which if you're interested, I guess I could link down below. Anyway, alright. <laughs> Enjoy. Time. Time. Oh. I made one mistake, not a big one too Said I was sorry, thousand times to you We used to talk a lot, and stay up late Now we never talk, doesn't feel so great Feel so great, say, and stay up late Talk to my friends, call them pretty too Is this making you or me the bigger fool? I stayed up late for you, I listened to you I told you that you were worth more than what you had thought Had thought And it didn't have to be romantic, I just needed a friend I miss you Feel so great Say and stay up late Feel so great Say and stay up late Alright, I just did my skincare I let it sit in So now I'm ready to do everything else So the first thing that I have that's new Is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Oh my god, I'm listening to Tana's new song and it's so good without you. Anyway, the Elf Jelly Jelly Pop Dew Primer. And I'm so excited to try this. I guess it's a dupe for the Milk Hydro Girl Primer, which I've never tried. Because a bitch is poor. Plus, I just, like, hate spending money on makeup. Like, expensive makeup. Because I'm like, I could get so many more things. Just take out my nose ring. So I don't get it super dirty this is super sticky but it smells like really nice did she do this song with modson it's really good it doesn't really sound like her all that much but that's okay it happens holy guacamole this is very sticky I can, like, feel where I didn't put it on because it's not sticky. <sighs> Alright, so I'm just going to let that sink into my skin. While that's happening, I'm going to put on some uh, Benefit Professional. I got this in a BoxyCharm, and I always had the mini ones, and I didn't really like them, but now that I, I like this more now, it really does blur my pores. So I'm going to put it on my cheek area. Right here to kind of fill in those lines, my highlight lines, right, my mustache, a little bit on my chin, and then on my forehead. I don't, I used to put um, these types of primer on my nose, and then like Jackie Ina and Nicole Concilio were like, don't do it, and ever since I stopped doing it, my skin on my nose looks better. <laughs> Who would have thought? And I'm going to spray the uh, Wet n Wild Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water. <sighs> I'm 
My nose is stuffed up because I've been having such a hard time sleeping. I'm just going to use my fan. I wake up like every single hour from horrible nightmares and it takes me like 15 minutes to go back to sleep. And I think I slept like maybe five hours last night. When I don't sleep, my nose gets stuffy. I started a new mood stabilizer and this one's just for depression, I guess. Uh, Abilify, I believe it is. And oh my god, last time I started a new SSRI, I got like such bad night sweats and it's happening again feels like like gross but like when I wake up it literally feels like I just took a shower like because I'm so sweaty but it's like snowing here because happy spring almost May so it's definitely not hot in my house not that it's freezing cold either but you know I'll probably talk about this in my um I did a two looks one palette with the mini controversy palette that I got from Jeffree Star with the Shane Dawson collab. Such a regret getting that palette. It's so bad. And then the blue and red burned my eyes. It was so swollen. I'm going to use the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. How about... I didn't know it was a pump, so I took it off. And I literally emailed Ulta. And I was like, you guys sent me a broken one. Because I thought it was like a doe foot. Doe foot, not doe fa. So, let's see. This is my first time trying this. Good coverage so far. I'm just using my Japanese sponge. I really like the original one. I like feel the stickiness of the primer when I like press in with my sponge. Does that make sense? I also got the Wet n Wild Walker Foundation because I wanted just like a nice BB cream. And I looked it up and they said that was a nice BB cream, but I'm pretty sure they discontinued it. So I don't know. I haven't even tried it yet. I'm excited to try it out. It's freaking... I can feel like I see the cat hair on my sponge. <sighs> freaking headbands. So far it looks good. It's a good match. I just got it in F1. Like my, I have it on my other one in F1 as well. And then I got the new... Um, the fast face I don't this is this isn't new but it's the fast face concealer from revolution I feel cat hair on my face oh well hello oh, there we go all right I'm not going to use this one on the rest of my face. For the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Cougar Cover Girl True Blend Under Eye Concealer. Just because it's a little bit lighter and I kind of want to brighten my face a bit. Let's see. Oh. No, I did that. I finished what I was saying. Look, I think it looks good. I'm going to put a little bit more of this on, though. So it did say it was buildable. This is not like the Maybelline one where it, like, stays wet up top. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of this just to brighten it because I got it in the shade C1, but it's just, like, yellow. So I'm just going to add a little bit. There we go. I think that looks really pretty. Lately, I've been using this 
Ciate Lende Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder under my eyes and where I want to brighten. And then for the rest of my face, I like using the Halo Glow Setting Powder from e.l.f. because it really does add just like a nice luminosity. So let's see. I literally, and I just pick some up on like, a, this is a Luxie, it's like a tapered highlighter brush. I think I just think this is too big for like actually highlighting. So I like to use it to set under my eye. And then what I like to do is take a, it's like a flat concealer brush. Just make sure that it's blended. Take this, literally just go like that. Do the same thing on the other eye. So this isn't going into my under eye lines too bad. My under eye crease. They're really bad from, like I said, not sleeping much. All right, what do you think? I think it looks good. <sighs> Take a powder puff for the rest of my face. And then I'm gonna use the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder in light. I do not like this powder for a setting under my eyes. Just take whatever's left over and just kind of pat my ears. Here's a tip that I like to do is the powder, I keep the, t the top like this and then I just flip it because I usually have more powder in the cap than like in the sifter. And that way not as much comes out. Takes just a little knockoff makeup eraser that I got from TJ Maxx. And get the makeup off my hands. So I hate having makeup on my hands so much. All right, what am I doing next? Let me use some of the, this is the Maybelline Master Fix. This is the one in the pink bottle, but I don't know if my sprayer was broken or this just like sprayer sucks. So I just poured it in this. I really like that. Use my fan again. And then I'm just gonna use like a little powder puff and just, whoa, press in. If you are queer and a woman and you are looking for like music about gay, listen to Holly, Ho Holly Cole. I think it's Holly, it's H-O-L-L-I-E-C-O-L. -L -L -E she knows. You ever hear a song and you're like, if I listen to this in like a, if I listen to this at like a different time in my life, I would like dedicate it to someone. Cause that's what that song does to me. Then I got this Revolution Pro Cheek Kit. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like a dupe for the, um, hourglass ones that has like those powders type so i'm gonna use the bronzer in this not the blush or the highlight though ones i want to test anyway so let's see i'm just take like a diffused blush br brush like this i need to wash my brushes i used to uh, those wipes and i don't i don't think i liked them very much like those makeup cleaning wipes I'm just gonna take the bronzer. And this is new. I'm putting castor oil on my eyebrows and eyelashes. Maybe it's just like in my head. I feel like it's helping some girl. The side always looks weird because like I can't like I don't know why. I like find it hard to blend. I'm just gonna put some on my cheeks too, just like that. So that's where the sun hits you on my nose. 
then a little bit on my chin, and then underneath. I know people are saying that they're gaining weight during this, but I actually think I lost some weight. Not that I try. I don't really care that much, to be honest. <sighs> but, um, because me and my girlfriend are eating out basically every single day. And now that we're making good at home, because a lot of places close, or like close early, I'm going to take this Flushing in Bali from BH Cosmetics. And just, let's see what shade. It looks like this. I'm going to take the shade Lychee because I think I'm just going to do a pink look. And I think I'm going to mix a little bit of pomegranate. Brush from Chic. Blush brush. But yeah, we're eating at home now. Plus, there's like a ton of cases where I live. So, we're eating at home. Who would have thought? Putting on my chin and on my nose. Chin, I meant forehead. Pretty. This is new to me as well. And then I usually like to use highlight. I do highlight until the very end. But I'm just going to do it now. Alright. Don't judge me. But I got the Makeup Revolution Glass Mirror Highlighter. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I shouldn't because Nanny MUA. But this is such like a pretty cool tone pink. And I was just like a sucker. And it was on sale because they're repackaging it. So, sorry Nanny, not that you know me. But like also stop being expensive. I'm just going to stare my face with the Pixie Hydra. Hydrating Milky Mist. I love this stuff. Oh, I just inhaled it though. Just gonna let it dry a little bit. But I still want it a little bit dewy. So yeah, that Jeffree Star palette hurt my eyes so bad. Alright. Well, I'm gonna treat this in the shade. Glass mirror illuminator? I don't know. Alright, let's see. It's very glittery, which I don't mind. I don't I like glittery highlights. It's a little bit like kind of glow from within, but like with glitter, but it's like really pretty. I also got a J-Cat loose highlighting powder because people are always raving about them. Okay, it's really pretty. My skin looks really pretty. It looks nice and glowy. <laughs> Sorry, Manny. I'm just doing like all my makeup out of order. So I'm gonna use this new Wet n Wild Brow Pomade. I know I've never used a pomade. I had the um, Benefit. I'm not gonna use this brush because it's like like that. I'm gonna use just this lavish brush. What do you think? I like it. You've never used a pomade. It takes a while though. And people say this is faster, but I don't believe so. Alright, I think I'm done with this. What do we think? I think it looks good. Nice and fluffy. And then I'm just going to take the where are ya? Ulta Beauty Clear Brow Gel. It's the tiniest spoolie. I love it. I love this stuff. I 
And then before that dries, I'm going to take the Tanya Brooks The Brow Gal Instant Tint. This has little fibers in it. Helps my brows look fuller. I'm going to take that um, Makeup Revolution highlighter again and just highlight under my brow bone. Oh, this is the Pearl Pearl Luminizer. This is huge. Like, who would go through that? So I saw a lot of people wearing gloves at, like, Walmart, but, like, then they use their phone and stuff, and I'm like, are you cleaning your phone before, like, you use it again? Because I really don't think so. So I don't know. Just just the thought. Prime my eyelids using the Milani eyeshadow primer. I've been loving this. And as usual, just setting it with the Minakadar Beauty um, HD translucent setting powder. What have you guys been binging? I've been binging, binging. I've been binging Love Island. I've watched five and six of the UK, and then I watched um, the US version, which people said it was crappy, but I like it. Or I liked it, and now I'm watching um, season four. I watched a few episodes. I uh, know I watched one episode of the Australian one, but I just didn't like it as much. I don't know. Maybe I, I I'll give it another shot. But I'm I, my favorite is the UK version, <laughs> and I love all their accents. I just love using this Eco Tools brush. It's a micro blending brush. I would never use this for eyeshadow though. Well, I guess I would because I have shades like it, but I, don't, I, it's like not stiff enough to be used like on the outer corner, and it's like too big. And then I have two new colors. I have the Solstice palettes, like those both palettes from ColourPop that I just released. That's the Amlezy palette, which I which I just got. So I think I'm gonna use the Amlezy palette actually, like this. I'm so excited! I've never used an AVH palette before. Okay. It's just weird that New Yorker and OG look exactly the same. So I think I'm just gonna be basic and do like a bronze. <laughs> That's okay. Sometimes you just need to go back to your basics, right? So I'm gonna take, actually, I'm gonna take OG, that shade right there. Holy shit, okay. Mistakes were made. I don't, I can't do the freaking V like everyone else can. Oh my god, I'm being such a mouth breather. I am so sorry. And I'm just gonna take a bigger brush. This is just like a fairer brush. I'm just gonna make sure nothing's on it. A little color cleaner, makeup brush cleaner. And just blend it. Because I want this color just a little bit, not as like intense. There, see the difference? It looks so much better. <sighs> My skin isn't doing so much better because I've been using skincare. Like, who would have thought? I have to go out today and I'm so scared. I need to go to my girlfriend's mom's house. Not, like, go in, but have her put, like, masks, like, in her, um, what's it called? Mailbox. There we go. I always keep the brushes I use out, like, for my other brushes. Let's take 1988. I'm actually going to take it on the ABH brush. Just a little double sided. I hate double sided brushes so much. I'm just going to pick up a little bit. And just put it like right in my crease. Oh 
don't know. Too much. Too much. This is a nice brush. It's nice and like small and stiff. Which I like. And I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I love a fleshy, fleshy, Jesus Christ. Fluffy blending brush, too, but I don't know. I'm liking this. I'm liking this so far. Just pick a little bit more up and just put it on the outer corner. Okay, yeah, this I'm going to use the other side. This eye always turns like out like poopy, I swear. See, like, this eye just looks so nice and blended, and this one's like, huh? Blend? Just gonna take it, this brush again that says OG on it, and just go. Okay. I'm gonna take a brush. This is just like a mode of brush. Just like the brush that I just said I don't like using, and just. The center of my face just like looks worse everywhere, always, except for this brow. So now I'm just gonna take Anastasia, 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 Anastasia. I don't know. I'm just gonna take that on a flat brush. Let me find one. Wow, it's so pretty. I'm so glad I have an ABH palette now because everyone always like raves about them and they're really good. They are very powdery though. What the heck happened to my nose? Oh, dot. Oh, well. I'm gonna pick up Cupcake and put it next to it, that purple shade. And I'm just using the same brush. And just like mesh it with the brown and also like together. <sighs> Not that I'm any type of makeup artist. But whatever. Take this brush again. Just stamp it over. Take this brush. I'm just gonna wipe off the powder on it. Wipe off it this brush too. So I like have barely anything on it. This one again. And I love the weekend so much. And take, hmm. Did I do a pop of blue? Green? No, I think I'm just going to do purple. This is the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in Vivid. It's just a purple LA Girl Glide On. These shadow, <laughs> these neon eyeliners are so good. I have like every single color. I'm gonna take Samsa, Samsa. And just run that underneath use a nice fluffier brush this is a brush from kenzie i got it at tj maxx i got two sets and just are people in your state protesting for it to reopen because it is in ohio which i have a lot of feelings about whatever people are so ignorant i'm gonna take bar which is on my inner highlight i think it's just like a glitter press glitter take it on a little silicone brush it's really pretty i'm 
and I got this palette the blue was broken so I just repressed it I did um email Ulta but then I was like I don't think I want to send it back because then it's just gonna get destroyed and that's just so wasteful and it doesn't really affect it once I pressed it down let's see what else do I have to do just lips and I'm done in mascara if you watch my videos, you don't know, mascara. I'm gonna use the Ulta Beauty Bold Ambition and the Maybelline Lash Discovery, the mini brush. This has like a comb. Like I can get so close to my lashes. I always get mascara like right on my lash line. Alrighty then. I'm just gonna take the mini brush, Maybelline. Ugh, I got some under my eye, that's okay. And then I got the Lux glasses, glasses, glosses. Can I speak today? And I got this, the sheer lip tint. I don't think that's gonna look good though. Let's see. And I got this powder, the snow melt. Hmm. I think I'm gonna use the Lux gloss. But I do think. I think I'm gonna do in the shade overnight. It's just like a peach. No, I'm gonna use the other one up all night. I'm so excited. I'm wanting you to try these. I want to get this set that ColourPop offers and I want to get their sponges too. Ooh. This is up all night. Staying up. Sorry. All right, oh, this is very nice, not sticky at all. I'm just gonna take my headband out and take my French plates out, my French braids. I just learned how to do, it's not the best, but it's what it is. Take out my bobby pins. If you like to braid your hair, I'd really recommend getting the, like the thin ones for thin hair that are your hair color. Just think it looks really nice instead of like a big clunky one. I watched this one YouTuber and she got like an Ulta haul, which like, hello, I just bought stuff from Ulta so I can't really say anything, but she was like, I'm not going out, I'm doing my part, and I'm like, so you just think robots package your thing and then robots deliver it? Come on, sis. You're smarter than that. Alright, here's my hair out. I'm just gonna go like that with it. My hair bands are all upstairs. I feel very glam, very pretty. Just to go to Target. Hopefully fast. And I'm going to be wearing a face mask so you can't be able to see everything, but that's alright. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, you can like, comment, and subscribe. You can turn on post notifications if you want. I don't know. Usually, I don't talk during Get Ready With. It means I just play, like, chill aesthetic music so you can do your makeup with me and we can just, like, have a good time. But if you like this, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. And I will maybe see you in the next one. Goodbye! Time. Time. I made one mistake.